So we spent the night in Sealy, Texas. We had a very nice meal at a Mexican place uh, across the road, which was good because Texas is quite famous for having lots of good Mexican food. And now we are going to go on to San Antonio. It is foggy. We haven't seen fog since England, I don't think. Is this normal? This isn't what I was expecting. We're going to San Antonio. We're at the city limits and it doesn't look like a jungle. I think we're getting to somewhere that's a bit drier. This is a neighborhood, some of the north of San Antonio. Oracle is here. This is the north part of the city. We're about seven miles from the city center and it seems like it's quite a big city because this is a whole major commercial area that is separate from the center. And it looks like it's a fairly flat city. We have finally hit 100 degrees here in San Antonio, which is the hottest temperature on our trip so far. It keeps going up. Another neighborhood in San Antonio. And they have buses. It's very slightly hilly here. This is a beer drive through There are a lot of lone places. So we decided to stop in downtown San Antonio. We are at the Red Roof Inn and we are within walking distance of the Alamo. In 1836, this was Mexican soil. You had to be a Mexican citizen and a Roman Catholic, otherwise you weren't permitted to live there. I don't really know anything about this, but I didn't realise it was a Mexican civil war. The policeman we just spoke to said that the incident that happened at the Alamo was really a Mexican civil war and that everyone, even if they were English, Scottish, and then there were Scottish, English and Welsh and German and Irish people there, but they were all Mexican citizens. But after this, the judgment, my friend. That's right. So I think this is a, a holiday destination. There was a Guinness World Records thing and uh, Ripley's Believe This or Not and something called the Auditorium. This is the Phil Collins collection at the Alamo. Uh, there's a wax museum, there's police on bikes, and there's also a river walk. It's getting harder and harder to not do touristy things. I think we've been on the road so long that we probably need a good holiday. The river also goes into this building. In fairness, they do chicken curry with rice, which you often get in a pub and a sandwich called the Big Ben. There are lots of birds in this tree. There's a lot of locals here who are sitting around and drinking a lot. She sounds like fun. The locals of San Antonio. We're at an Italian restaurant on the river walk. Looking at the wine list, there is a bottle of wine, Moulton Rothschild Pauliac, 2006 for $1,700. Now, I would have got that, but it goes with sour cream Pringles and they don't serve them, so we're going for the uh, for the Prosecco. We've never been to somewhere that's had a $1,700 bottle of wine. We could actually just end the whole hijinks adventure here uh, and just get really drunk. The waiter just told us to not go across the border to Mexico at Laredo because they had five mayors that were assassinated in quick succession. But he does like living in San Antonio. He said it's a very family friendly place. It has a low cost of living. Wages are low, but so is everything else. It didn't have a lot of entertainment, but it was near Austin and a few other places. Don't worry about this. This is only YouTube. It's not very popular. He's from England, I'm from Wisconsin. Yeah, we're from Wisconsin. Uh, yeah. You're Texans, aren't you? Yes. Texas people are the most friendly people in the whole world. And I, they have, like, manners, hospitality. And I really believe that. I was a flight attendant, and I flew everywhere for seven years. But you won't ever meet people like Texas. <laughs> New Yorkers, Boston, they're all like, get out of my space, get out of my space. It's they do not like people, <laughs> for real. And then there's the small towns that you probably want to stay away from because they think that they're so cool right. when their parents own like a, a business. But right. if they were in the yeah, real big oh. city, they would be laughed at. Texans are, except Dallas, they're really pretentious and they like to carry their name brand purses. They 
like to show the label. Houston people, they don't need to show the label. You don't have to say, I have money, because those people really don't. Right. They're one of me. So, people from Dallas, stop being so poncy. Put down your purses. She's and... boss. <laughs> I... Sorry. <laughs> I... You know what? You just need to find your little net. Yeah. And just go with the flow. Thank you very much for that. And, yeah, um, yeah, nice it... to meet you. <laughs> yes. Oh, well, enjoy your meal. Here is a snake. It's a What do you think, Jess? Yes, it's good here. I think we'd at least come back on a holiday. It's a small wildlife. Brazilian barbecue. Are you saying that there is a ghost on the fourth yeah. floor? Okay, so my mom opened up this one back in like 98 or whatever it was. And this guy, he overdosed in his bathtub. She said the light usually flickers, so. and she had a premonition. Hi, YouTube. My name is Eric Jones. I'm from here. Oh, are you? What's yeah. it like? Um, what do y'all like to do? You're on Cherry Street? That's where mm. all the hookers go. Oh. Want to make some money? You lock all your money. But... No, um, <laughs> there's like, if y'all want to go out, the bottom is like an alternative lifestyle. Most of like the Emily Hotel is haunted, the one next to the River Center is haunted. Do you like living in San Antonio? Yeah, I lived here my whole life. It's growing really, like, fast. I want to say, but it's segregated. <laughs> like, okay. yeah, like, um, anywhere on the north side is the rich side of town. South side, west side, Mexican, and the east side is like the black people. But okay. they all mix around, and everybody's pretty nice. I actually got more gay bash in Austin than I've ever had here. I've never experienced it here. I lived everywhere here and you no know, like the back of my hand. Flood in 98 was the real bad one where you see people's houses floating down the, the river in the flood of 2000. That one wasn't as bad, but it was bad. It's the coolest summer that I've ever seen in like maybe like five, 10 years. It was 101 degrees. Usually it's like 110. Would you say you're in the south? Texas is its own country. But if you want to see some more ghost stuff here, been heard about the tracks. It's on the south side back in the 1950s. School bus full of kids broke on the tracks. Driver got out to fix it. He didn't notice the train was coming and it killed all the kids. When you go, you park, turn your car off and put it in neutral. The kids come out and they push you across so you can get across in it. And they say you go put baby powder in the back and you'll see what happens. But everybody does it, it's real fun. <laughs> it's something to do from here. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, well, well, yeah no, thanks very much.